Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. I'm here to present you my latest project. So I made these two junk journals lately and I will do a flip through. I will, I will have it in separate videos and these uh, junk journals, this is the one, and this one uh, will be part of an auction. So uh, this Friday I will have an auction and put them on sale if you are interested in uh, these journals and many other stuff. So I have to zoom out too much because this is a huge one. This is really, really, really huge. This is 12 inches. Let me show it to you like that. So if you see, compared to my hands and I don't have, sorry, I don't have small hands. It's a huge one. It's 12 inches by six it's an envelope a very 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 sturdy and thick cardstock envelope that is from canvas crop and i created it and look like a leather and not only it look like a leather it feels also like a leather sorry for the glare it has a really leather feel because the envelope is quite thick so that was my design project for canvas crop uh, the envelope so and it's quite big and you can see and um, let me start so this is the back of it let me do it closer can you see how it really looks like leather the colors it has a lot of stitching all around and for in the middle to divide it like here so it creates pockets inside if you see it's it really looks like leather it has the feel of it. It's very, very sturdy. It can even stand water because I have uh, varnish it. So we have metal corners. We have metal elements. A lot of stitching. This, this word is embossed. Another metal element. The corner that over there is also embossed. Metal corners also here and here. It has met many metals inside it also, so you, let's start. Here we have one, two, three, four pockets. Let me do a close-up. So we have a, a small pocket that is from the back. It's created from the back. So we have this small pocket and it has an ephemera inside. And we have another pocket here on the top. You see, and it also has an ephemera. I have to zoom out too much so I don't know what you see. So, as you can see, we have pocket here, pocket here. This is an outside pocket, pocket here, inside pocket, pocket here, outside pocket. So, they all have ephemeras inside, and they are quite deep. You can see the papers that I used here. It's cardstock. It's very heavy paper from canvas crop. No, this is from Seven Gypsies. Sorry, this is from Seven Gypsies. Let's see if I'm in frame because it's a bit huge. Okay, this is from Seven Gypsies. It's amazing paper, amazing designs. It's not heavy embellished, but it has too many, 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 many pockets, so you can. Um, Put it and fix it as you wish. This is a Greek envelope for school. It has some writing on it. And uh, they are all coffee tight and distressed. So I stitched this envelope and created uh, two pockets here. It has a sticker, still, it's not that much. So we have, they are quite big and they will fit a lot of stuff that you wish. You can use it as a travel or notebooks or something because it has a lot of space and pockets here. The coffees, the papers, sorry, are coffee dyed. This is an envelope that is created as a pocket. Oops. We have an ephemera there. Weekly pages, coffee stain paper. This is also beautiful the cardstock from Capus Crop, beautiful doily. I have enforced the spine of it so it won't break. Beautiful envelope, it has an ephemera inside. Yeah. 
your papers. This is a napkin that is transparent with a technique that I have shown you. You can find the detail underneath. So this an envelope also. There is everything. With an ephemera. It has a lot of sport pockets and you know uh, plates for you to put stuff. These are beautiful papers from Seven Gypsies. Stretchment paper I think it's called this one. This page, I love this page. That's why I didn't cut those papers because they have some images that it's it's it will be a shame to cut them. So this paper will come with four booklets as extra. So it's the back of it and they have papers inside so you can write. So there are four extra booklets. I'll hold it upside down. This one? Yes, I was holding it upside down. And this one. So this journal will be for sale. I will do a dish bus auction if you wish on Friday, this Friday. This Friday afternoon. I love this page. I really love this page. This and the ballerina, you will see the ballerina. And uh, you can come and see. I will have many junk journals for sale and other items like uh, lace projects. So here we have another book from the envelope with some camera inside. Plenty of writing space, a lot of uh, this is a die cut and it's created this pocket and it's extra from the nice inside. It's quite deep. The napkin, the transparent technique. All the papers are coffee stained. Doily. This is a die cut piece that I create, decoupage it and create the pocket. Very beautiful and big book. With tons and tons of pockets. <laughs> and big pockets. We are not kidding on the pockets. Come on. Let me see. This is big one. And here is a ballerina, a local ballerina. So in the back we have this flag, but it also has two pockets. Huge big pockets. This will be, I guess, a great traveler's notebook because of the amount of and the size of the pockets. And it really looks like leather. Let me do a close up and sorry for the glare. It really has that leather feel. Sorry for the shine. You can see it's shining because it's varnish. So it will create that feel. So this is for this junk journal, it's the Explorer, it's a big one. Tell me what you think, leave a comment, don't forget like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notifications and we will speak very very soon. I hope to see you all on Friday and hugs and kisses. Thank you for being here and for your support and for all the love you give. Thank you, bye bye.